Jablins, Jables. It's important to stay flexible and active in these troubling times. And this is one of my favorite stretches. It stretches the, uh, the crotch. I like to do this. Works out my, my ankles. <laughs> this is a good one because it stretches out your lower back. <laughs> this is an important one to stretch out the calf. Go ahead and do a close-up of my, my boot. Get up against a wall or something. Stretch out that calf muscle. And you know the hamstrings are the most painful one for me of all. I got real tight hammies. Gotta build Tommy a computer desk. Looks like Jable's gonna be doing some manual labor. Let's do this. Manual labor, Tim! When I'm building something, manual labor style, I like to pretend like the world depends on it. Like, if I don't build this thing perfect before sunset, the world will explode. It helps me to get through the projects. Six and a half hours later. It's finally done. I built that desk and that chair and it was basically the hardest thing I've ever done. It took all day. Look, it's, it's nighttime outside. Now I know a normal person would have been able to build those things probably in like an hour and a half, two hours tops. It took me about seven and a half hours. Uh, I realized after I was almost done with the table that I had done it completely wrong. I was a total idiot. I had to take off the whole apparatus and start. Uh, I basically built the desk twice. It was a catastrophe. By God, we did it. Tanya helped a lot and we built it. And by God, I'm proud. We're gonna make it through this thing, you guys. Dude. That's it, dude. We're in business. We're, we're off to the races. We are in business. Okay, you got that, viewers at home? That's Taylor yeah. Stevens. Say hi, Taylor. Hi. So Taylor's uh, walking me through the steps of the Delgado because uh, usually he films me. He's uh, he's live and in person, but obviously we have to respect the rules of the land. So uh, Taylor um, doesn't just shoot it. He, uh, he's the, uh, he's my social media guru and he's been really kicking ass. Shooting, editing. Let's hear it for Taylor Stevens, everyone. Ah! Yeah. Oh, okay, that's enough. Let's remember who the star of Jablinski Games yeah, is. Yeah, that's too much, that's too much. Okay, Sorry. you've had enough. Call me if you need Back to work, Taylor! All right, see ya. Bye. And let's do this. Here we go. Red Dead Redemption 2. Part four. Dude, how many parts are we gonna have to do to complete the entire Red Dead Redemption saga? This could go on literally for months. This could go on for the entirety of this whole episode in American history. Hopefully, by the time I finish this Red Dead Redemption 2, we will be done with the COVID-19 chapter of American history, of world history. You guys, this is a moment no one alive today remembers the last time our world went through something like this. 1918? This is once every hundred years or so. And God willing, it'll be more than a hundred years before anything like this happens again. Hopefully, the science will catch up to this and just figure out a way to just prevent it in the future. God, I mean, it's 2020. We still don't have the scientific technology to eradicate a germ, you know? Crazy, crazy times. And every time I get a little sniffle or a little throat clear. I get a little paranoid. I think, uh, bleep. It has brought the family unit closer together, Tanya and the boys. There's been some beautiful moments throughout the, uh, the chaos that I'm thankful for. We're gonna get through this. Here we go. Thank God I don't have to start from the beginning. Okay, here we go. All right, so <clears throat> looks like we got a plan. Dutch seems to know where we're headed. Here we go. Another chapter. Gorgeous country. Snowpack. Listen to all those beautiful voices in the background. I think I hear Petra Hayden's voice in there. My sister-in-law. It's relaxing, you know? <laughs> it's weird. A lot of time it's like an anti-game. I'm not really doing anything. I'm just holding the button and we're... Oh, my wheel fell off and some of the barrels... God damn it! You gotta change a wagon wheel. This is before they had jacks. Yeah, just lift him up. Uh-oh. Someone's watching us from up above. What do you think? 
If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. I read in the comments someone didn't believe I was really playing. So you can see, here's my controller. I'm really playing. I don't know how long I have to hold up my controller to prove that I'm playing, but turning the wagon. I mean, it's really relaxing just to to ride the the wagon through the countryside, the gorgeous countryside. It's like a peloton without the exercise, you know? Traveling through the gorgeous hills. I got the uh, intercom on so I can hear Sammy and Tommy in the other room. Got chores to do, got to bring food, got to bring money, got to bring treasure. You got to contribute. Chapter two! Feels good, guys. Making progress. Making it through the land. <laughs> We're going to conquer this game. It's interesting to me that the, uh, the main character in the game is not Dutch. You don't play as Dutch. Dutch is in charge of everything, but you're like one of his lieutenants. You're one of the guys who works underneath Dutch. And it's kind of a genius device in storytelling, because that way, you know, you got a mission. You want to please Dutch. You want to you wanna earn his respect. I'm going to see if I could get uh, Tanya and the boys down here for a cameo. Okay, bye. Wait, you want to come down here for a cameo? I'm playing Red Dead Redemption Part 2 on Jablinski Games. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe. Dad, I'm playing what? Uh, I want to see if you want to come down to uh, do a cameo in uh, uh, Red Dead Redemption Part 2 Jablinski Games. Games. Hey, what was that game you were saying we should play on Jablinski Games? Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal! Coming right, soon. Come on down for a cameo. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe, okay. Let me call my wife. She'll come through. Tanya always comes through. Where is she? Here we go. She'll answer. She won't screen me. Any minute now, she'll pick up the phone. Come on, babe. Pick up the FaceTime. She's probably busy. Left her phone somewhere. Well, I guess I'm going to do this one alone. Let's go. What a motley crew. These three young ladies want to come with me on this mission. The more the merrier, I say. Let's go into town, see if we can rustle up some business. We need to contribute. Go find some treasure. I don't know if you can hear in the background Tommy screaming on the intercom. He's playing a video game himself. I think he's playing uh, some kind of a terrifying post-apocalyptic game. Uh... Ah, girl, it's These ladies, you really, you get to like the characters. That's one of the brilliant things about this game. You get a, fev a feeling and a flavor of these characters. You, you get to know them. You love them. They're like family. Hey, what's going on up here? I'm always suspicious when someone's, I got to help. I always got to help when help is needed. Left trigger and press X to comment. Okay, let's go. Slow, hey. This is one wild horse here. Hey, easy now. It feels good to do good deeds. You do a good deed, you feel better about yourself, you feel better about the world. Good to do good. Feels good to do good. A gentleman. My wife's calling. I uh, wanted to see if you wanted to come down and play some video games with me. I'm playing Red Dead Redemption Part 2. Oh my god. Real quick, I want to give a shout out to all the people out there, the workers. The people that don't have a choice, they got to go out and work even though they are in harm's way. They are the real heroes right now. Obviously, I'm talking about the doctors and the nurses and the people that are working at the hospitals. And I'm also talking about the male men and male women, the people that are working at Amazon making deliveries all day, the farmers, the male men, the people taking the garbage, all of the people that are working doing the essentials. They are in harm's way and they are mother loving heroes. We love you and we appreciate you. Thank you for all you do. Oh, and also the supermarket workers, the people working at those supermarkets. They don't have masks. They're just, you know, they're doing their job, getting people the food they need. Much love and appreciation. Okay, hey. Oh, wow, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Don't hurt anyone. Just remember, keep a low profile. Keep a low pro. Why don't you pick out a cigar? A you cigar. bet your ass I'll pick out a cigar. Get the hell out of Dodge. What do you say? Mission a cop? No need to dawdle. No need to dilly-dally. Good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. You son of a gun, it's you giving funny. me booze? 
I'll I'll take a sip. Career, I'll take I a swig of that. Hair of the dog, brother. Hair of the dog. Oh, shit. Someone had a little too much. There's the hotel for Karen. Okay. Oh, boy. Here we go. I got a bad feeling about this whole situation. Here we go. 2B. Is that what it said? 2B? We got there. 2A. Okay. Kick that thing! Hey! Hey, you! A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! I paid for nothing. God damn it, I forgot how to fight! Thank you. I didn't mean to kill him. What are you doing here? I gotta loot him now. They didn't give me a chance to negotiate with the guy or. You but sure? that he needed an ass whooping. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. We ain't a land of savages. Prove hey, that's my horse. Just following it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. All right. Come on. Come on. Get up. You okay, partner? I gained honor. No. Continue to perform positive actions to become more honorable. I am going to be the most honorable guy in the history of this game! I'm dead. You have a nice day now, sir. Mission complete. Oh yeah, I'd like to return this horse that I stole to regain my honor. I'm not a thief. I thought I was mounting Chocolat. Where is its rightful owner? God dang it. I have bonded with this horse. And it will now respond to whistles and command. I, I just want to take the horse back. You know what? I'm going to hitch it. I'm going to leave it. Hopefully its owner will, its rightful owner will come back and find it. Yeah, you know what? I completed a mission. I'm going to say mission accomplished. This has been one hell of an episode of Jablinski Gaians. Stay strong. Stay clean. Stay sober. And stay at least six feet apart. Uh, I'm going to say stay ten feet apart. You know what the test is? If you can smell a person, you're too close. You know what I mean? So I'm going to say a good 13 feet. That's a more safe distance. Uh, take care. Catch you on a flip-flop. See you next week. Shables! <laughs>